everyone, Andrea here. I am going to share with you what I've done on my December Memories album so far. Uh, today is the 13th, so it's a Sunday. That means we're about halfway through. And uh, I am not able to scrapbook every day, so I am taking the weekends to uh, work on the, the previous week. And obviously I'm not completely caught up. There are some things I need to do um, inside. Some note taking and things are not finalized. But I'm going to take you through what I have so far. So my um, the base is the Gossamer Blue December Memories Kit. And it's a planner style, which has been really fun. I was a little bit anxious about not using my 12 by 12 album. I normally would just uh, continue on my family album and just do more of a detailed look at December. But being on the design team for Gossamer Blue allowed me to, uh, <laughs> I kind of uh, got out of my comfort zone and went to a smaller album, which honestly has been really fun. Uh, the the projects, you know, as far as the pages that I'm working on, the, the items that I'm working on are smaller chunks, which makes it a lot easier for me to manage. So the kit comes with these um, tabbed stickers. So my, the first thing that I did was I added the tabs, the weekly tabs to each of the weekly um, dividers. So the very first one is has already um, printed on it December 2015 so all I did was I added a little chipboard tree I was trying to go real simple I just I I didn't want to overcomplicate things this year last year when I did my alpha style um, it was super fun and I love looking back at how that turned out but it, there was um there was a lot of planning you know there's a lot of planning involved and so um, and it was busy. It was busy. So I just wanted to really make it simple this year. So as we come in here, the very first thing is an overall view of the month. So there are things that I wrote in pencil that um, I just need to go and fill in. And then I'm kind of waiting for just other things that we end up doing so that once it's all, once the month is all done, I'm going to come in here and fill it in with the maybe a one or two word little blurb about what we did uh, for the day and I'll do a little bit more decorating but I'm not a planner decorator so this was a little odd for me so I'll get in there uh, once I get my groove with the planning thing and then here I have um, no ink in my printer right now and it's driving me nuts but I want to type my um, I know um, Ali talks about the intentions for December and I'm, I will do something similar to that, but it's just something I haven't written up yet, but my plan is to print it on vellum because I really like the simplicity of this pattern paper and I will just um, probably glue it with some very simple decorations or possibly just cut it to be the exact size here and then just glue it and keep it um, as if it's the full size. We'll see. And then prior to even starting the month of December, <laughs> I did a lot of prepping, like my house, and I was just in the Christmas spirit and getting ready for Christmas, like, before Halloween, just because it's my favorite. So I started with uh, just several things um, about how we got prepared for the month and the things that happened prior to December. But this is my opening, so I just wanted to use some of the really gorgeous greens and golds and reds from the kit. And my my very favorite is this light-colored mint um, acrylic piece that says December. And I had to work hard to trim off the ends because it's longer than three inches. So I cut that down so that it fit. And I just made a list of all of the things in December that um, are our favorite things. So like nativity scenes and a lit up village and decorating the story of Jesus, cold weather, things like that. And then this is a blank page that I'm going to probably fill in with whatever I have left over. And hopefully at some point I can find some plaid-ish um, supplies to go with my theme for the year. 
and maybe I'll make this page kind of match. It's kind of my intention, but I haven't been able to find anything that I like. So I might end up just printing some things from uh, Pinterest or something that uh, that go with it and just throw them in there as inserts. So this page here is basically about how I prepared for Christmas. And uh, this is a little, um, it's a wooden word that's covered in a, a buffalo pat plaid fabric. Since I was doing a uh, lumberjack glam, which my husband has now renamed glamberjack, which now makes me irritated that I didn't think of that, or he didn't think of that before I made the hashtag for all of my Christmas decorations, but that's okay. So I just printed some things that I did to prep for decorating and I made this with the Rana Designs app and then um, just took a screenshot of some of the items from my Pinterest board and threw them in here. And then uh, another just kind of filler page of just some colors that I liked and some supplies from last year's kit that I put together and some things from this year's Gossamer Blue kit as well as as soon as it got cold I started drinking hot chocolate and uh, used some supplies from the main kit and also I found some freebies from Simple Stories so um, you'll see those throughout as well and this is us decorating so we've got uh, a village and the tree at this point this is even prior to Thanksgiving this was, I think, the night before Thanksgiving where we, uh, when we decorated the tree officially, but we actually put the tree up about three weeks before that. Um, last year, I got about a half of a Christmas. So we were filming a movie in my house through the month of December, and it was about halfway through uh, December until I could start decorating because obviously with filming, you have to have continuity, and I couldn't have my tree up yet. So I started early this year. And um, so I, I am just using, again, I'm, you're going to see a bunch of different supplies. So if, as we're going through this and you have any questions, just leave me comments and I'll let you know if you need to know where something is from. Most, most of this stuff is fairly new, so I'll probably remember. And then the day before, uh, the Sunday before the first, well, yeah, it was the Sunday before, the, the, the last Sunday in November. Um, a local church that uh, a ton of my friends go to uh, have a family fun night and it's to celebrate the start of Advent. So my girlfriend and I brought our kids who are best friends. We live right down the street from each other and they go to school together and it was just a really fun night of um, activities and we had some Christmas games and, and we just, it was a couple hours of just starting that Advent season. And because they decorated in the church with some purples and blues, I couldn't really use any of the Christmas supplies. So I pulled from my Maggie Holmes style board collection because that blue was just perfect and it was a nice, fun, fresh uh, set of colors to start off with. So that's us. And then I just used a simple uh, alphas for the title. And here is the beginnings of, uh, well, this is the final stages of me decorating. So I decorated in a few different stages until I really found everything that I wanted. The piano was the first thing that was decorated. And then I started working on the opposite side of the family room for, um, the above the TV section and then I chose to just take a, a larger photo of these little mice that belonged to my grandmother and I added the clear adhesive tabs and threw in a little piece that matched with the pieces that I put inside of my Ikea little cube thing and then just a couple of pieces from the Gossamer Blue kit which is this is from the mini class kit and then this little uh, acrylic deer head I thought was really cool because I did uh, some deer decorations on the piano and then here is just on the opposite side of the beginning of week one's divider page. So I figured that on every divider page, I wanted to um, just throw on a little bit of decoration. 
and I decided to just wait until I got there to decide what it was going to be. So here I just wanted something opposite of this that would match with the mint and the red. And then here I, I when my printer gets some more ink, I will, um, I'm going to have a little bit of journaling here and I just put this little note here so I, that I don't forget. Okay, so week one. Now, when you open up each week, it's then got the weekly thing planner pages. So um, what I did here was I just used it to make notes. So I knew that on the first, we started the advent boxes. On the second, we watched Rudolph the Packers one on Thursday with that awesome Hail Mary at the last second, literally no time on the clock. It was so great. Um, Friday, there was several things that happened. And then just, so I'm just kind of going day by day just so that I don't forget what we did. And then that way I know which pictures go with which day. And then on the opposite side, I used uh, one of the six by eight pieces from the Gossamer Blue Kit and uh, just cut out a, a real simple tree and threw the Mary wood veneer right over it. And this is one of my favorite pages. Uh, music is super important in our house and especially during this time of year. I love to listen to lots of different Christmas music. And one of my favorite albums is the She and Him Christmas album. And so I took a screenshot when I was listening to it one day and then uh, just printed it with my normal photos. So I just used matching colors. And then here I didn't really want to do any journaling, but I needed something to kind of make that gold fill in. And so I just used some washi and threw uh, little strips inside of those journaling sections because there wasn't really a specific date that I listened to this album. So it was kind of like every day. <laughs> and then the fa -la, la I thought was perfect for it being a music um, kind of a music themed page and the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday means kind of every day. Anyway, love that album. All right. So day one, I printed a, a larger photo and then put it on, I trimmed it a little bit and then put it on the background of a mustard striped page. This comes in the December memory, December memories kit. And I thought that even though this was a craft brown, that just kind of the way the photo was edited, that it looked really nice with the mustard. And then I just added a snowflake here and I wrote journaling right there on my photo. And I used some alpha stickers and these stickers, they're from the Target dollar bins, the dotted ones I got last year, and they do not stick very well. So I thought it was a perfect opportunity for me to bust out my sewing machine and I just stitched right over and I've done this before so a little tip on stitching on top of alphas is I was finding that the while I was stitching that the alphas would come off the page and move so um, somebody gave me a tip to put a piece of washi tape over where you're gonna sew and then sew across the washi tape and then rip the, the washi off because it'll just come it'll come off and it won't you know, the, the stitching doesn't stick inside of it. So it, it did leave a little bit of residue, but it's honestly, you can't even tell. And I just threw a little something up here just so for some color. And then day two was the story of how Marshall was uh, quite appalled that people were so mean to Rudolph in when we watched Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And so here's my little journaling about what he said. And he said, um, I don't think, I don't know why his nose, they think his nose is so bad. He's only like 1% different, which uh, he's really into percentages right now. So I thought that was a cute little story. And I just found this image on Google. And then I also purchased One Little Bird's uh, Oh What Fun uh, cards, journaling cards, and uh, 3x4 and 4x6 cards. And I just thought that the kind of retro feel of that font was perfect for um, this day. And here I um, am documenting the delicious peppermint bark from Ghirardelli. That is a treat this time of year. And this little candy gram four by six is also from One Little Bird, as is the um, red journaling card. Now I accidentally printed her stuff a little bit too small. And so uh, I've backed them with just some other uh, colors. And then here I printed this in a two by eight just to add something different. And then I put a, uh, a little sticker that says all I want. And this came in the December memories kit. 
And to attach these without punching the holes directly in the photo because I felt like it would be tucked in too much, I used one of these um, clear tabs and I just trimmed them to be this wide and I just stuck them on at the right places and then punched holes using my single puncher. Okay, on the other side, now I thought about wrapping this twine around this side also, but decided against it because I really wanted this to be simple. Um, and so I just glued these two things together afterwards. But this is just the opposite of this story, which is Marshall got a little award at school that Friday. And, and then uh, also on Friday, I got an early, uh, early birthday present and got a Fitbit, which was really cool. I've been wanting one for a long time. And so uh, the December Memories kit comes with this 4x4 four four that's got these cool little watercolor presents. It says under the tree. And I thought of that it never made it under the tree, even though it was for my birthday. But um, I just thought it would be cool to say that it never made it. So I used this little chipboard tag and put a gold um, ribbon, not ribbon. What What is this string? It's like twine, but it's like gold. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so I just said never made it under the tree. And then I printed uh, a Boca black and white shot and used a piece from the Rana Farrer app for this enlarged photo. And then also used a stripe um, little piece here to put inside of the label so that it cor correlated over there with that tag. And then Saturday morning, took Charlie for a walk and I finally got to use some uh, fall things because it was kind of fall. We didn't really get fall here in Northern California. It just kind of goes straight to being cold. And then on the other side, I did day six with uh, this Hello December, which has a lot of different colors. And then this card actually came in one of the Gossamer Blue December kits, the one of the scrapbook kits, not the actual December memories kit, but the colors really worked well together along with the yellow piano and his green thing. And so they just kind of all went together. And this is him just opening up one of his boxes. And this was really, really fun to work on. So I found this watercolor uh, image of my favorite quote from Elf. And so I printed that along with my photos and then used a couple of pieces from or a couple of cards and um, the little holiday thing. The chipboard is also from the December Memories Kit. And this old uh, little Mad Lib was in one of my kits from last year. So I found that the color really worked together. And so I had, I asked Gibson to come out and give me all of the fill in words and then we could not stop laughing. The t three of us were just going nuts and I, my husband was back in the office probably thinking we were silly, but it was super fun. And I think that's um, just kind of what this time is all about, just having fun. And then on the opposite side, I did a four by six uh, layout, but with a three by four picture. And so this is, this was Saturday and then this was Sunday. And on the opposite side, I just left this blank because it still kind of goes with the colors. And here I haven't decided what I want to put here. I wanted to kind of go through and use all the pictures for the week. And then since I print extras of things sometimes in different sizes, depending on, so I have a lot of options, I will probably take either something that I ended up not using or something that I used in a smaller version and use it for this cover. Um, or I may just leave it blank. I'm not 100% sure yet. So week two, I haven't done any decorating or anything. I've just used it for the note taking. And so I'll go back through and write it all in pen and do some decorating. And I have not filled this in, nor have I not filled this in, but they will match. And then, so Monday, uh, my friend Lisa invited me to same church. We went to the Advent thing. This is a church that I don't attend, but I know 
so many people that go there that it's actually starting to question why I actually go to my other church because I don't associate with anybody at the church that uh, we go to. So uh, they invited me to the Cappuccino Christmas, which was, is something that they do every year. It's a women's uh, evening where uh, the men of the church, they serve the dinner and they, they serve, um, you know, your, your drinks and, and things throughout the night. Uh, and then they put on a production and her daughter is, it was in uh, Matt's movie and we've just become really great friends with her and her husband. And I met a, a lady there who we ended up having uh, so many things in common. We grew up in the same town during the same time. It, our parents know each other. It's just, it was really a, a great connection and just a really super fun night. But they, um, they had on the tables the menu, which is in black and gold, and then they have this, which was kind of the agenda. And I decided to go with all black and gold for this couple of uh, this spread, and I just I had such a fun time working on this one. And then I used this four by four card that had just the word joy on it, and used it to journal, and then throw a little embellishment on there. So that was really fun. And then on the opposite side, I just used a couple of extra photos. These are not particular, they didn't happen on any particular day, but they went well together, the two of them, and I didn't really have another place. So I just used a little four by six through another tree down there because I felt like it went well with the muted neutral and black. So that's that. And then Tuesday at work, uh, I work in insurance and we, this is the time of year we get gift baskets and cherries, berries, and all kinds of goodies that are not really good for us. But, um, we got these delicious handmade cake truffles and, uh, brought some home and we just, we loved them. So what I did was I saved the uh, insert that came with it. And then on the opposite side, I glued the description of all the flavors that were in there. So just a cute little insert. Uh, day nine, I decided to take a photo of my wrapping paper. Now this, there's obviously, I have more than this, but these are the two I found that went really well with my lumberjack theme. And I just put the date on there. And on the opposite side, I had a color bokeh shot that I did not turn into black and white and just threw this little gold foil Mary across the top. Day 10 was Friday and I had taken uh, Charlie for a walk so I took a screenshot of the weather and I liked that it was perfect because it had the yellow in it and I had this December card from the Life Pages kit for December and it had the yellow and so I just found some other pinks and reds and this photo of me at the end of the day after working and scrapping and it was just um, I was exhausted but so glad about all the things I got done. So I just threw a little 10 up here in a in a grayish color so that it went with uh, the color scheme here. And then did a little journaling about the day. And the, what was that? Friday the 10th. I must have missed the 11th. Wait, maybe I got the dates wrong. Anyway, I'll figure that out. But yesterday was the 12th, Saturday, so we had uh, the Santa breakfast at Marshall School, and this was definitely the story of the day, was that even though we had decided he wanted to see Santa, he decided after breakfast that, nope, he wasn't going to see it. And so I wrote down our little conversation, which um, made it to Instagram and Facebook, obviously, because it was just super funny. And then I said, okay, well, if you're not going to take... Uh, a photo with Santa or go talk to him then you have to take photos for me when we get back home so I said what do you think about you know Santa watching you when you're sleeping and this was his reaction it was just kind of cute that he was like I don't know if I dig that and so here that's why I used the title of nope and this was the ticket that he was supposed to give to be able to sit with Santa so and then we finally took some family photos yesterday and just, you know, did some quick little pictures out in the backyard and in front of the tree. And here we had some, I printed some outtakes because we tried so hard to get our puppy Charlie in 
uh, but with all of us sitting together she went kind of nuts and was trying to lick mad and being it was just a fun silly little session so I definitely wanted to include those and then I just used some scraps and did some tearing to uh, give a bit of a background for these photos and then use some of the Dear Lizzie foam words finally got to use the Our Crew, which I thought was really fun. And then here, this was just the one, uh, one of the good ones that I picked. And I printed this a 5 by 7 so that it was long enough to not sneak over the tabs uh, and still tall enough that I could punch the two holes. And then I will find something to do on the back, probably a pattern paper. And then here is a postcard that we send out to our clients uh, at work. We, this is the one that we chose for Christmas, and I just thought it was really perfect to go up against um, this week three divider. And I had already pre-decorated this week three because um, I had this uh, sleeve, and I knew that I wanted to include it on the red background so that it looked like the cup and that had already been done but obviously we have not started week three so that is the end of my album so far and I will most likely not share again until I am finished with it so you'll see probably in another three weeks I hope to have it completely finished by the end of um, my vacation I will be um, working hard on it uh, after Christmas and in between Christmas and New Year's and I hope that everybody is working hard on their albums and not feeling like um, if you're a few days behind that is totally okay so for me like I said in the beginning I do not get to scrap every day uh, I don't scrap during the weekdays normally um, and so my weekends uh, are when I spend working on um, projects like this so you know, I had a week's worth of photos to kind of catch up on and, but what I really enjoy is getting into the groove. So sometimes, um, for me working on one little piece at a time, it doesn't, doesn't get my creative juices flowing at all. So I really enjoy spending good chunks of time during the weekend when we're all just sitting at home and it's rainy and, and, um, you know, I can, I can work on a big chunk of stuff. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing my December memories book. And if you have questions, like I said, please leave them in the comments and I will get back to you. Hope everyone is having a great day and a great weekend and a great December. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. And in case you didn't hear, hope oh, by golly have a holly jolly Christmas this year. Have a holly jolly.